schedule you are going. You see my phone? It's here. You tried to use this? Yes, yeah, sorry, it looks just like mine. Have you changed the pin? Yeah, the uh, operating system crashed, so. Again? That's what, like the fifth time? Yeah, I know, I should really. Uh... You okay? Mm. I'll be fine in a minute. I know I've said this before, but why don't you go and see Jimmy? I don't need a doctor. And besides, he's your friend. I'd feel weird. Can't keep going around this. Ever since your mum died, you've not been right at all. I'm fine. See? What are you up to today? Um, off for a run. And lunch with a mate. Who? You don't know her. And Jim this afternoon. No job hunting? Not today. Can't face it. I'd rather look after my health, which is something you should be doing. What? You only moved in last week. It's like you don't want to spend any time with me. If we lived in each other's pockets, we'd end up hating each other before you know it. I'll see you tonight. She didn't listen, right? Typical of her. Hi, is it possible to get an appointment with Dr. Clay? Who are they? It's ridiculous. Oh. What the, what the, can I help? It says I don't have an appointment, but I rang and did. Yeah, well, uh, well, Lord, it is very simple. Uh, let us uh, go back uh, to the start. Uh, right, uh, female. And uh, yeah, then put in your date of birth. You do the okie okay, okay. Did, uh, did can I not just talk to the reception? Absolutely. Do I? No, no, no. Well, uh, let us try it again. Uh, the computer says no. Oh, look, forget it. And I'm here to see Dr. Clee, Kate Wilkinson. Oh, Miss Wilkinson, you have just made my day. Go. Right. Kate. Jimmy, hi. Are you here to see me? Yeah. If that's okay. Yeah, of course, yeah. How's Mike? Oh, he's really well. In fact, it's him who's been badgering me to come and see you. Uh, OK, um, come on through. Hello, Brad? Brad, it is working now, miss. Too late, I'm afraid. She seems to be more interested in Jimmy. Teething problems, Mrs Tenby. So, you've lost weight. About half a stone. But your diet hasn't changed. Night sweats. I know not menopausal. And dizzy spells. <sighs> Off and on. I think it's something and nothing. I would prefer to check. Um, could be anxiety, stress, could be something physical. There's some tests I could recommend. Uh, thyroid function for one. I'm Rondon, that's all. Um, the last time I saw Mike, he told me what had happened with your mother and how you'd looked after her through to the end. She was my mum, of course I looked after her. Our bodies can react strangely sometimes to stress. Everything's caused by something. Uh, maybe you being with your mother as she passed. Honestly, I'm just under the weather. Will you let me buy you lunch as a thank you? Oh, you don't have to thank me. It's my job. I really want us to be friends, Jimmy. You mean a lot to Mike, and he means a lot to me, so... We could go to the Icon Bar. You can't make the time. Uh... No. Right. I love him and you know, we're good together. At least I think we are. But... You've known him for years. You know what he's like. Yeah. Always a different girlfriend. Always check the lab. But since he met you, he has changed. Maybe. He walked out of his job for no reason. What's that about? Uh, maybe he's rethinking things. 
Look, he's solid, he's dependable, he's, he's not a midlife crisis kind of guy. And he's moved in with you, Kate, so... I don't know why you're asking me instead of him. You know him really well. I, I just thought you could... Mike! Mike! Yeah. Sure, hello, mate. <laughs> well, we were just talking about you. Oh, all good, I hope. Surprised to see you here, Dyke. I've always wanted to try this place and I took your advice went to see Jimmy. Oh, that's great. That's, uh, that's great. Are you going to join us? Ah, uh, just for a sec. Yeah, I um, only popped in to use the loo. I thought you were meeting someone for lunch. That's right, yeah. They're not here, though. Thanks. So, what's the diagnosis, Jim? Ah, uh, you know, I can't talk about it. I understand. I'm just pleased she's finally seeing someone. Been really worried. I keep telling you. You're fine. Yeah. And women say we may, hey doctors? Hey. <laughs> Listen, I better go. So soon. I told you I'm meeting someone. A uh, run soon, Jim? Yeah, I'll give you a call. Nice one. I'll see you at home. And uh listen to what he tells you, won't you? You see, he's always like that these days, distracted elsewhere. I think he's seen someone else. I saw him with her this morning. Tall, blonde, willowy. What? Uh, no, no, nothing. It clearly isn't nothing. I think he was with her just then. Hey, where are you going? What do you think? I think we shouldn't be doing this. He's... We have no idea what he's doing. This is weird. It's unethical. It's hardly the behaviour of a mate, is it? Oh, so it's all blokes together, is it? No, that's not what I'm saying. What's unethical is him lying to me and cheating on me. You OK? No, I feel awful. Have you noticed any connection with your symptoms and what you're thinking about Mike? Oh, it's all in my mind, is it? No, psychosomatic symptoms are a genuine phenomenon. It's just if you're obsessing about this, it's going to be putting your body under a lot of stress. Then move and get down. Well, come on, this is ridiculous. See? I might just be friends. Yeah, right. And the rest. Oh, you're adding two and two in. Making four. Okay, come on, where are you going? What the hell is going on? Kate, uh... Jimmy, what, what are you... What are you... How can you do this? Kate? Let me finish. How can you stoop? So low as to move in with me one day and then be off with her the next. This is Juliana. I don't care what her yeah. name is. She's a complementary health specialist. I met a few months ago when I uh, started getting interested in my health. She's been helping me out. Is that what they call it now? Okay, why don't you slow down and take a breath? He's right, Kate. Mike's been very concerned about your health. And he shared his worries with me. I've been encouraging him to help you change your diet. You're not fooling me with this, you know. I even asked her to give me homeopathic remedies for you, but... She's too ethical for that. We met today to come up with a plan to try and get the two of you together. You were holding hands. He was upset. Yeah, right. Kate, I'm very flattered that you'd be jealous over me. But we're really not having an affair. It's not even my type for a start. What is your type? Women? I'm really sorry, darling. Just feel so stupid. You mustn't. It's an easy conclusion to jump to. You shut down the conversation every time I brought up your health. I didn't know what else to do. It's not as if you take good care of yourself, is it? I eat lots of fruit and veg. All organic, I hope. But she does now. If there's one thing I've learnt from Juliana, it's the importance of Healthy living, a good diet, exercise. You never
listen to me about any of that stuff before, but then I guess I'm not so pretty. I've never felt so well in my life. Thanks to Juliana and her remedies. You're giving him homeopathic remedies. I oh, don't tell me. You're a GP, so you automatically disapprove. No, I've just never seen any evidence to support any uh, efficacy or any benefits. It's just probably the placebo effect, isn't it? I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I'd expect nothing less. Uh, I'd expect nothing less than ignorance from the medical profession. Well, show me some empirical evidence, and then maybe you will get something different. But, I mean, you know what really gets me is when people come to you looking for answers instead of medicine. There's a whole world of knowledge and understanding that falls outside the medical model, Jimmy. Do you even have a medical degree, Juliana? Easy, Jim. <sighs> oh, come on, I can't believe you've fallen for this. <laughs> but you were just telling me that my illness was psychosomatic. Yeah, but that's different. How? If the mind is as powerful a factor in physical health as you say, then what harm can homeopathy do? Exactly, Kate. Not to mention years of evidence. See, there we go again. Well, where is this evidence? Would you treat me? Of course. I'd be delighted. Kate, don't fall for this. Mike's told me a lot about your symptoms and the past year nursing and grieving your mother. You did. I think this will help. Let it dissolve under your tongue. This is ridiculous. Mm. When should I expect? Give it a few hours, but you should feel quite a difference. We should have more to do with the fact that you find that the mic's actually being faithful, but nothing to do with your little pill. Jim, let it go now, hey? And uh, I think you owe Juliana an apology. It's just a great to disagree. Oh, Mike. I've said I'll drive Juliana home in a little while. No worries, Kate. I can give you a lift home. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, thank you for the remedy. I'm just glad I could help. And I'm sorry about all the subterfuge. It was very nice to meet you. Likewise. Call me if you ever need any homeopathy advice. Yeah, I doubt that'll ever happen. See you at home? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, if you still want me. Yes, of course I do. It might seem a bit off just then. Off how? I don't know, just distant. Look, he's apologised, it's just... He's fine. Oh, I'm so stupid, that's it, of course. I didn't really say sorry, not properly. <sighs> She's comforting you again, is she? You... Cheating swine! You sit there and lie right to my face. And you said you were gay, you lying cow. I said I like women. I just didn't say I like men too. Kate, you don't look well. I think you need to calm down. Don't tell me to. Kate, there's more to this than you think. I'm not an idiot, okay, Mike? So don't, don't treat me like. Okay, Kate, 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 you better shut up. You just sit for next breach, I can't cope with this. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. So you two are having an affair, yes? I wouldn't call it an affair. Oh, what, it's for the good of his health! In a way, yes. You're such a liar, I can't believe I fell for you. Don't say that, please. I couldn't face it if I lost you. Oh, you have a funny way of showing it. Mike, I think you should tell them. I really don't think this is the time. I wanted it to be calm and... Uh... Tell us what, Mike, come on, what's worse than this? I've got malignant melanoma. Late stage. Terminal. It gave me six months. You left your job. You moved in with me. Is that all because... I had to live differently. And Juliana's been helping me, and we're spending a lot of time together, and... One thing led to another. We never meant to hurt anybody. Why lie? And why wasn't I the first to know about your illness? I didn't want to upset you. After what happened with your mum. I'm really sorry. Kate. I do love you, you know I do. It's true. 
In fact, you're all he talks about. It's not me, not himself, you. And it never occurred to you to come and see me that maybe I could help you. Medicine didn't save Kate's mom. With Juliana's help, I'm feeling better. I really believe I can beat this thing. I've heard enough of this. Okay, I'll take you on. No, I'm staying. He needs me. Well, that wasn't bad. I still don't get it. Well, you need to put yourself first for once. I am doing. I love him and he needs me. After what he's done to you. He's dying. Oh, come on, his condition. That doesn't mean he can... Jimmy, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I'm staying. That's it. I don't understand. How can you do this? You should share him with another person. You forget. I know what he's got in store. I've been through it with Mum. If these are his last days, then I want to be with him. What about her? If he wants both of us, we'll figure it out. Come on. You're staying. I'm staying. We can work it out together. Can't we? Absolutely. 